hey guys uh welcome back to my channel the traveling lounge if you're not subscribed please do subscribe as i bring you this village content today so today is day 32 and i'm building a second guest house a brand new second house so this is just showing you clips of uh of the uh, the storage and stairwell are next to the garage of the first guest house that uh, this already been done so this is just an old clip but now let's walk to the site where we are building the second house it's somewhere same same general land but different there's a different side of the of the, of the land um yeah so my right there is where my villa will be so actually here i'm having four projects now uh, the guest house is almost complete uh, just the lintel remaining and then i just started building a second guest house so uh, right now uh, let's let's walk over there so there's a fence uh, separating where my villa will be day two day 32 new project started and uh, you, as you can see there's the masons just going through the fence as you can see over there there's the masons and uh and the helpers uh the handyman rather uh, uh and the and the engineer setting up the new house getting setting the new the second guest house so guys you're setting up the second guest house that's like setting the dimensions and then they'll uh, dig uh the trenches once it's been set for the foundation and then from there uh they'll uh, will put some uh some walls on the like foundation walls uh yeah uh blending and then foundation walls and then fill with hardcore and then slab and then we start going up the walls start building the walls so i'll let you listen to the sights and sounds of the village as you watch the setting of the new second guest house welcome guys subscribe to the channel subscribe like and share as i bring you this marvelous content keep watching so actually that tree in the corner there that's my little house over there <laughs> little house in the bush no little house in the prairie this area is called bushland actually yeah <laughs> so because there's so many bushes and i think we have some of the few indigenous bushes that are still left yes like scrubland more or less so scrubland more or less and um if you look uh, uh they're setting up uh, now this house and i'll just let you listen that indigenous tree in the corner there is actually a, a medicinal tree and it's, it's it's grown for maybe over 100 years now so normally trees like those you don't cut them down you just leave them because they're very, it's very hard to get them to grow to that size it's called quago for those who know the <laughs> the lua language it's called quago so we normally don't cut them down they're medicinal too yeah so medicine men normally sneak in there in the compound at night try to peel the the bag to get some <laughs> take it for medicine yeah but basically it's known to be a medicinal tree the bags especially are used for for medicine to cure ailments so i'll let you just watch the setting of the house and um yeah and uh we we'll see how we how we're gonna go with this second project uh just watch briefly and then i'll catch up with you in a, in a, in a little while So that's the quago tree I'm telling you about. This tree right here, uh, yeah, it's a medicinal tree, and oh, it's not all over to be medicinal uh, in this lowland area, and also probably in other areas. Yeah. So the setting is going on, and I uh, just watch you guys, and uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So trying to utilize some of these uh, corners of the of the compound and put in some structure, yeah, uh, which can be used for, yeah. To, to generate some income i guess eventually but uh, if you come as a visitor as a pisco or a volunteer or a student yeah you can live here for free or for a little 
Yeah, as you sample the village life here, yeah, you are welcome to come and live once the houses are done. You know, uh, there'll be part of partly Airbnb, short term could be an international hostel. Yeah, so uh, all this stuff flying in my mind. So, but it will be available for, for accommodation to anyone who comes to visit around the village. Uh, pretty it will be available for someone who comes around the village to have a place to stay. I even short term stays once they are done. And back there is my little house in the bush. It's called a simba. It's the house that normally young men build. That one, this one over here. That young men build when they turn 18. And uh, yeah, when they can't sleep in their mother's house anymore. So uh, that is the house I built like in one day when I was just like uh, still a young man. <laughs> now I'm a little mature. <laughs> All right. So yeah. So uh, so just behind that uh, little house in the bush, uh, we are building here another modern guest house, similar to the guest house that I've just almost finished constructing, only remaining the roof to be done. So technically, actually, I've got like four projects going on. So I've been told to slow down so that uh, I don't go too fast. Uh, but uh, I wanted to get the foundation of these uh, four projects all laid and uh, like the master plan. Of the of the setting more or less it's like a master plan of the setting done then from there i can slow down and now go one house at a time finish one then go to the other finish one then go to the other so that may take a year or so hopefully it goes a little faster than a year yeah so that's the quaggo tree relaxing under the quaggo tree i'll find the name in english <laughs> i don't know the name in english or the botanical name yeah so uh, the setting uh, is being done here, and uh, you can just watch, uh, let you watch in silence as we uh, listen to the sights and sounds of the village. Birds chirping, it's calm, serene, cool wind blowing, yeah, it's pretty quiet, fresh air, and all that. I'll continue watching, guys. Catch up with you in a little while. Here, yeah, guys, they started excavating the trenches for the second foundation, day 32, building a second guest house. So they're digging the trenches for the foundation of the second guest house. I'll let you watch and listen. Excavating the trenches, here's the screening or blinding. Uh, it's done but it's not finished uh, yet. Just watch. The blinding is actually mortar, which is a layer of mortar that is put down there. On that layer of mortar, they lay foundation stones. So it's called screeding or it's called blinding. Some people call it blinding. So it goes all around uh, where the trenches are and uh, also where the uh, those corners where the pillars will be too. Uh, yeah, so it's almost done, uh, almost finished, but not yet. Uh, just watch. Uh, Maja don't get nutty matimadichi. Maja.
birds chopping, cocks crowing. Hey, <laughs> that's the village life, guys. Yeah, it's pretty nice, pretty, pretty serene, yeah, pretty calm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they've done most of the screening or blinding, so uh, what is remaining is very little, and they'll do that when they start, uh, then they start putting the stones, the foundation stones. If you notice, the foundation stones are like gray, I mean, these reddish stones, uh, they're very hard, and that, that's why we use them for foundation. Well, those stones are very hard, so that's why we use them for foundation. They have to be mined, like, dig, dig, they have to dig, like, where there's hard red rock. So they dig, dig them out and then they cut them into pieces. Of course, over there is my little house in the bush, my little Simba. Okay. And behind the Simba is coming up this uh, guest house number two. So they are, here they are building the walls. They've actually done like uh, two courses of the walls. Uh, here it's not very deep. So the walls will go around like uh, around two, two, two courses on this upper side. And on the lower side, because the land slopes just a little bit, it's like four courses. Just watch.
and normally foundation is the is like the hardest part and also takes a lot of money and labor and then the roof also the lintel and the roof also take a lot of money and labor in between here just the the walls that can be done pretty fast and it's relatively not very expensive once you have the blocks made yeah so here they're almost done with the foundation now uh, walls only like this 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 lower side remaining and they'll be done with this probably by tomorrow just uh, watch guys and enjoy mm -hmm. so you have to transport ballast from where you poured it to bring it a little closer and you have to use this tick tick of this three wheeled uh, <laughs> motorcycle pickup yeah which are very common in the village here uh, to transport stuff yeah Yeah, this is a foundation wall, almost done. And then uh, they have also to remove this uh, topsoil. Uh, actually, do the back filling first, like fill the space uh, between the walls and the well in the trenches, like uh, around the walls. And then, uh, of course, we'll remove the topsoil, and then uh, and then put some maram at the bottom, and then uh, some hardcore or rocks, and then some maram on top. And then after that, the slab will come in. So I uh, just watch here. Here they're working now on the... This part is actually the veranda. Yeah. Uh, so but just watch and uh, you see what's going on. Actually, that's not the veranda. That's the lower side. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's the lower side, uh, which is a little higher, like uh, four blocks. It's almost like uh, three, three and a half feet deep. Yeah. So it's like four layers of block. So that's the part they do last because uh, it's a little it's a little higher to to be the same level with the other with the other upper side so it has to be all level they use a spirit level to make sure uh the spirit is all level there yeah it's all level yeah so just watch guys and uh we almost uh done with this foundation yeah almost there yeah and then i uh, will proceed on to build the walls uh, above the foundation yeah actually this lower side is is lower not higher it's lower and therefore the walls are higher you don't have to be the same level as the ones on the upper side that's what i meant yeah so it's much deeper it's much lower and therefore the walls are built higher you don't have to be the same level with the walls on the upper side now you see all this soil on top here has, has to be removed and uh, then you have to put in some maram so these are removed but filling will be done like uh, fill the spaces between the wall and the uh, the trenches and then after that we'll remove the top soil and then after that put some maram then hardcore then maram then then a concrete slab that's the foundation slab so we're heading there uh, slowly by slowly poco a poco one day at a time one step at a time Yeah, so, so they're almost done with uh, <laughs> with this part and uh, one thing my uh, my so for the mason somebody always like has a radio in their pocket that's playing loud and I tell them hey guys you gotta shut this that thing down because I don't want no copyright issues but always for, someone forget on the radios of the pocket playing music and uh, so I try to avoid sometimes I have to talk over that section where there's some so that it clouds the music and you can't hear the music and therefore we don't get copyright issues. 
yeah i keep just saying it over and over again yeah but there's always some music somewhere popping up somewhere somebody playing some entertainment music as they walk all right but i'm here shooting a video for youtube and i don't want no music which i don't put on my clip <laughs> guys dudes turn off that music anyway just for jokes okay so these are uh, this is showing like the earlier part where they uh they hang on uh yeah so yeah so this are uh, showing the place where the earlier before they started constructing constructing the wall okay then back there is project number four actually not project number three is actually my project number four but here i put a third project because the third uh, project that I'm doing, apart from the villa, the villa is the main project. So that third project, uh, I'll keep it a secret for now, and I'll update you as time goes. But there, uh, it's been marked out, and they're digging, but I'll, I'll give it like a different clip on its own. All right, so here we have uh, just checking how much sand we have left. And uh, then, uh, wow, yeah, how much blocks we have made, yeah. Then you have to make more blocks, and uh, yeah. Checking around the side, then uh, walking back to the site where we have our second guest house, and uh, check on the progress again. So, uh, yeah, so we have to keep on checking uh, the watering. The walls will always have a, a, a watered like in the evening and morning after the construction, the day after the construction is morning and evening. But if the fundies of the masons are working the next day, they'll do the watering of the curing before they start construction. So, but when they stop working, then we have to get someone to, to do the watering or curing uh, every day, twice a day for the walls to cure properly. Otherwise, uh, they just like having, start having cracks and all that. Yeah, just watch. Yeah, this is the last part of the wall they're building and uh, normally this will take like uh, uh, by the end of the day it should be done but they say like uh, towards the end the work slows down because the fundies always say if you finish the work today what will you do tomorrow so they always leave work for tomorrow so every day they do like half what they should have done towards the end so that they've got work for tomorrow work for tomorrow and that's a tendency it's human tendency i can't blame anybody because <laughs> they try to stretch the dollar or the shilling as much as possible yeah, but I told them they have to finish this part today and uh, then I do the verandas. We don't want it dragged anymore. You know, it's got to get finished and we move to the next phase. We can't keep on dragging it, slowing, uh, slowing it down, slowing it down like that. Yeah. Yeah, and they understood and they promised they would finish it. Yeah.
uh, more materials uh, being offloaded. Uh, unfortunately, I had to actually they disrupt that uh, kitchen garden that I put over there where the Lord was passing next to my cimber in my little house. Uh, but we'll reconstruct it again. We'll make sure that kitchen garden stays because it's needed for the vegetables. Yeah, but there's a little distraction that we can move that fence a little bit. Okay, now here is uh, some more foundation stones being flooded. ran out of foundation stones and therefore we just got a new and another lorry of foundation stones like i said the little kitchen garden multi-million project that had started was disrupted because you have to create a route for the lorries to pass but we're gonna redo it again so we're gonna put back that fence and that kitchen garden will be back and running <laughs> pretty soon for some indigenous vegetables okay here uh, they're just finishing now. I told you, like, the last part always is stretch. It takes too long. Uh, but I told them they've got to finish it. So they, uh, they think they're going to two more courses. And they'll be done with this uh, with this lower side, which is a little deeper. And then move to the veranda. And they should be finished with the veranda too today. Uh, both the front and back verandas. Yeah, I'll let you watch a little bit in silence. Uh, as you listen to the sights and sounds of the village. You're welcome, guys. So that is backfilling being done there where they move the soil to the space between the wall and uh, in the trench between the walls. Yeah, so that's backfilling being done over there. So most of this, that soil is used to backfill and then the rest will be removed. Actually, the, after removing this soil on top, the top soil will also be removed so that we have like the subsoil. Then we put maram, then we put the maram on top of the subsoil and then on, after that we'll put some hardcore on top and then after that we'll put a little maram and then uh, the foundation slab will come after that. So here they are working on the verandas. So here they are working on the verandas, uh, the front and back verandas, and uh, it should also be finished today. And then we'll be done with the foundation walling. I'll let you watch. So foundation walls completed and that space over there will actually put a pillar because I saw so that wall was just too long. So I decided to put a pillar in between here, just around where the, the corridor or the hallway is, but on the wall, on this outer wall on the lower side. Yeah, so foundation walls finished. Uh, the pillars will be done much later uh, when they're almost, uh, when, they're, when they're doing the, the, the foundation slab. Yeah. So yeah, so we almost finished the foundation walling, and uh, we're almost done with the foundation of this uh, of this uh, second guest house. Uh, we'll just remain with uh, filling the hardcore, 
Maram hardcore, removing topsoil, Maram hardcore. And then uh, these are the veranda walls being done right now. And they should be finished before the end of the day. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And uh, we'll remain with the back filling, uh, removing of topsoil. Removing our topsoil and actually putting hard. So with back filling done, you will be removing of topsoil and putting Maram and hardcore uh, in there. And then we'll almost be done with the foundation. Yeah, so the work is almost done, guys, now. And uh, this phase is almost over. And we will we'll, we'll soon move into the next phase after we put in the foundation slur. But a few more, I feel a little more remaining, like uh, the hardcore and the maram still remaining to be done. Yeah, on the foundation. Actually, they put in some maram and hardcore on this upper part, uh, one room, one bedroom, and, uh, and the bathroom there. And uh, yeah, but I noticed they never removed the they never removed the topsoil. So uh, so from now on, we're gonna remove the topsoil first, then put maram and hardcore paper. But for the first two rooms, they did they just uh, put the maram on top of the topsoil, and then they put hardcore, and then maram again, which was like a shortcut. I did like that, so. So I didn't like that, so I uh, asked the, them to first, and then after removing topsoil, put maram, then hardcore, then maram. So we go like that step by step, no shortcuts, uh, so that the house is professionally done. Yep. Like that room there, that last room there, uh, you see some grass, that means they've not removed that topsoil. So that topsoil will be removed. And then we put maram, and uh, then hardcore, and then uh, maram on top, and then uh, it will be it will be done uh, all the way up to the top. Yeah. So we're almost done right now, guys. Yeah. Just now uh, removing of uh, topsoil, uh, being done uh, at this moment. Yeah. In the US they say removing the overburden that is the <laughs> the topsoil that's going grass on top so just remove the roots and everything yeah yeah but some people don't do that anymore they just put hard they put just stuff on top put a cock so it depends on the style you want to use but me I prefer removing the the topsoil first so this is more hardcore that's to go in there yeah so we are almost about finished guys yeah So just going around checking make sure everything is done well uh, before we went back on this uh, phase of uh, removing topsoil putting maram and hardcore up to the top Yeah, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel as you watch more of this video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel as you watch more of this village content, also my travel content. I got them all here for your entertainment, guys. Entertainment and information. So it's both information and entertainment. You learn something and you also get entertained. And you also learn about the village life in this other place if you don't live over here. Because every region is different. Every place is a little different. So you learn how people build houses over here. And uh, yeah. And, uh, and uh, more or less the process it takes to take it from uh, from like virgin land up to where you've got a villa or a bungalow standing. So I'm taking you step by step, poco a poco, little by little. Yeah, so that's some more hardcore. So please subscribe to the channel. Like
So please subscribe to the channel. I love you guys to the beach and back. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video up to the end. Watch all the, the whole clip up to the end. This is more material coming in, guys. Yeah, material after material. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get this work finished here. Yeah, unstoppable, like we said earlier. <laughs> like our song goes, unstoppable. We're going to go all the way until we get all these projects done. Kanyo, 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 kanyo. Kick down, Jay. So guys, here they've actually put Mara Mandatko on the foundation, but this first two rooms they did, I don't think they, yeah, I don't think they removed the topsoil in those two rooms, so that was a shortcut, and I don't like that, but that's fine. For the rest, we'll remove the topsoil first, then put Mara, and then uh, Hardcore, and then Mara on top, yeah. So yeah, so we'll get it done, and uh, we've reached now the phase where it's removal of topsoil, Mara. And then hard go right now it's just removal of the top soil first apart from these three rooms that they did uh they did it them very fast and i don't see where the top soil was hipped so i assume the top soil wasn't removed since i wasn't on site yeah that always happens yeah <laughs> if you are not there physically <laughs> yeah okay guys uh just watch Ah, yeah.
mana kwa manuo ka manuo le morocha Ah, more material guys coming in now, yeah, more Mara, more hardcore, more stones, mostly Mara and hardcore right now. Yeah, and guys, we are unstoppable, we gotta get this thing done, this four projects done, yep. We got a timeline and we gotta keep to that timeline and get them done in time. Hopefully, yeah, yeah, hopefully <laughs> within this year, hopefully we finish them within this year, hopefully we don't want to drag too much, you know, yeah. So, uh, so we're heading there, guys, and uh, offloading right now. Yeah, let's uh, keep watching, guys. Watch until the end. Or the guys the yeah, We're almost at the end guys uh if not subscribe and you're watching please hit that Please hit that subscribe button, be part of the family. It's free, you don't have to pay a dime. Yente subscribe para mi canal, it's gratis. I watch to the end, guys. Thank you, ciao. I love you guys on the beach and back. You know what you need, my bear. Karaunge wa chigol tops. Katodo wa u. Nene na ina maram nilo. Kuri. Puda puda top soil no, ala fui mad gigi nene, mando ane gimabo.